Mm, you know what? No, you probably don't need that 85 millimeter lens. Why? Let's figure that out today in the studio. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Silva. You are watching Alex Silva Photography. Today, I'd like to share with you some, uh, well, some experience that I've had with 85 millimeter lenses. All of this started because I have heard many times uh, that people recommend the 85 millimeter lens blindly to anybody who shoots portraits. Don't get me wrong, this is a great lens for, let's say, close-up portraits or probably medium shot portraits if you are using a full frame camera. So in essence, an 85 millimeter lens is a short telephoto on the full frame system, on any camera that uses a full frame sensor. However, if you use an 85 millimeter lens in a camera that, that has a different sized sensor, you will have a different effect. In order for me to demonstrate the effects of the 85 millimeter lens, I ran experiments twice on two different days with actually two different models. And I wanted to, to check with two different models that are of different height so you can see the effects, especially with the full body images. One of the models is Frida, who is taller actually, and you have seen her before. She is um, one, yeah, 1 1.7 meters tall. The other is Jessica, who is a bit shorter at 1.62 uh, meters tall. Uh, oh, I, I ran this experiment with a friend of mine named Ricardo, and uh, my usual assistant, Fernando, was the one recording all these videos. And in essence, well, we, uh, we started shooting close-up portraits. Uh, Ricardo was shooting with a Canon 6D Mark II, and even though he, he doesn't have an 85 uh, or a fixed focal length 85 millimeter lens, he has the Canon 24 to 105 millimeter uh, zoom lens. So we only set it to the 85 millimeter position and we started shooting. And then I also tried with my camera and a Fujifilm X-T2 and I was using the equivalent length uh, which was the 56 millimeter lens. And when we started shooting with uh, a close-up portrait, everything worked great. And our subjects were nice, nicely framed, and we were at a reasonable distance to direct the models. And when we were shooting, let's say, uh, a close-up distance with the camera pointed in, in a vertical orientation, we were about one and a half meters away from the model. If we turn the camera to the horizontal orientation, then we needed to be a bit farther away in order for us to cover a, an image from the shoulders up. And in that case, we needed to be close to three meters away. Then we started shooting from the waist or even a bit lower from the hips to the to the head. If the camera is uh, in a vertical orientation, we were about two and a half meters away from the model. And then if we um, if we turn the camera sideways or uh, in, a, in a horizontal uh, orientation, we were close to four meters away. Even uh, being let's say three three meters away from the model, it's a is still a more or less comfortable distance to work with the model, to communicate and direct the, the model and have a clear conversation as to what is the result that you're having. So it's still manageable. However, still using the 85 millimeter lens, if you want to shoot a full body image, things get really tricky. If you are shooting, let's say, yeah, on a vertical orientation, 
a full body image requires four and a half well, requires you to be four and a half meters away from the model and if your camera is horizontal and you're shooting a full body length you need to be around six meters away so that is not a comfortable distance to work uh, to, to, to work away from your model. Communication is not that clear. It's not so easy to direct the person that you're uh, photographing. So if you use an 85 millimeter lens on an APS-C camera that are pretty much the most popular uh, around, you will need to be even further. We didn't have a way to test this combination of lens and camera body, but we made some calculations and we even tried with Ricardo's camera. And if you use the 85 millimeter on an APS-C camera based uh, on an APS-C camera, it has the equivalent focal length of 135, 140, 135, sorry, uh, millimeters on a full frame camera. We didn't have that, that length, but we tried with 105 millimeters. And trying to shoot a full body image with a 105 millimeter lens on a full frame camera, the photographer needed to be around 12 meters away uh, from the model. Definitely not a comfortable distance to work with. So going back to my point, if you're going to shoot close-up portraits use the equivalent on your system of a short telephoto probably an 85 on full frame 56 55 on on uh, APS-C 42.5 on uh, micro four thirds things like that however that is not the only lens that you can use to shoot portraits if you want to shoot full body portraits it's probably better for you to try with a normal lens as the one you're looking now i shot this image with a 35 millimeter lens on my xt2 on the other hand if you are in a really tight space it's probably better for you to try something even shorter than normal or if you want to add more of the context to your portrait. In that case, you probably need a, a wide angle lens, like the, a 23 millimeter lens on an APS-C camera or 35 on a full frame. As you can see, the 85 millimeter lens is great for certain portraits, but not for all of them. So it depends on your system and the kind of image that you want to create, that you're going to select the best lens for you. I really hope you found this video interesting, informative, but also entertaining. If that is the case, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. But most of all, please remember to keep learning and keep shooting. And I'll see you in the next video.